I go to the movies. Yeah. And this one, it was a movie I saw at the Regal. And it was a movie from a faraway land. And it was a movie with the words at the bottom. And the movie, it was from India. And it was called, Thank You, Thank You. There was a song that said thank you a lot in it also. But, uh, yeah. So, this was not an action movie. This is the first uh, of these uh, movies from India that I'd say is, I guess it's a, a drama. And it's mostly uh, like a romantic drama. So that's the first one of those I've seen. And uh, the movie, man. One complaint is the subtitling. Very bad. Very bad. Because there's so many scenes where you can't uh, see the words because the background is white. Like, there's a lot of shots. And they look, they're beautiful shots if you're looking at the... You know, just the shots. But it's, uh, you know, people, there's, like, in silhouette, you know, so the sun is behind them or coming through a window or a door. And it, like, completely whites out the area where the words are <laughs> so you can't see the words. And then someone's hand will pass through and these words will pop up on their arm, you know, and then it will go away. Like, it's just, it's just real bad. <coughs> so... I don't know. I guess you gotta... I mean, it, lo it, it looks bad to, like, put, like, a black bar behind, you know, where you do uh, a little background bar on the text to where it's black behind the words. But I think you gotta at least put a, like, trace of a black border to the letters it's themselves, at least, because you just couldn't read anything. So that was really annoying. But what you gonna do? <laughs> so uh So the premise of this movie is there is the guy and he comes to America and there's the lady and they are in love. And he has this idea for a nap, you see, and he becomes real rich and famous, and he becomes a horrible human being. And the girl's like, I don't know if I want to be with him anymore. You know, and a bunch of things happen and she leaves him. That sort of thing. And then, so this is the part of the movie that's kind of weird. It's like the Christmas Carol. And it's like he's visited by the, the ghost, uh, the ghosts from the Christmas Carol. Except it's all one. It's just him. And it's supposed to be his conscience. But his conscience comes out of his body. And uh, <laughs> then, you know, he's like, you forgot about all the people that helped you out, you know. And then, then we have these flashbacks of, you know, people that helped him out. So here's the thing about this. The movie, it's like. It's like it's going along, and it's like one kind of movie. Then whenever it goes to, like, this flashback of him, you know, when he's, like, in his late teens, early 20s, something like that, it's a completely different movie. It's got a completely different feel, a completely different tone. And uh, and it was, it was kind of jarring. It was kind of like, oh, well, this kind of like watching a, a different episode of a TV show. That sort of thing. Then I was a little confused at one point because, so it's like, so in the beginning of the movie, he has his beard. So then he does the first flashback. He's clean shaven. So it's okay. There's enough of, I know what's going on here. But then it switches and he's got a beard again. But because he was, I don't know, like spoilers, you know, I don't know how to talk about this movie without spoilers. Because uh, he was in the location of the flashback, I thought he had just grown a beard, and I didn't know it was in present time again. There should have been... 
like a transition she- scene or something where he's like, I'm going to go there or something. And if there was, I missed it, you know. So that was a little confusing for a little bit, but I was like, oh, okay, I got it. <coughs> oh, I have an embarrassing human moment where I coughed. So, there's that. But then there's a third movie that happens. So it's like, there's the first part of the movie, this first flashback, but then they do another flashback to a different part of his life where he's in college, right? And he's got a beard in this one, so it's kind of like... <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of confusing because in the one flashback he's clean shaven and in the other flashback it's uh, so it just kind of gets a little bit there's not enough to differentiate it really, but then there's this whole other thing where he's got this rivalry with his I, it seems like it's his fellow teammate on the field hockey team, you know, and it's like they like hate each other so much that they're like really try to. Like, they really beat each other up. They really try to ruin each other's lives and, and like, basically gets to the point where they're, like, going to kill each other. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> so, it's like, that's a whole other movie going on there. Or, like, an episode of the TV show. So, <laughs> so but it's all, it's kind of... You know, his conscience, who who has this really bad special effect where he, like, glows around the outside of him, you know, it's it's real bad-looking special effect, but that is what it is, but. So, basically, the movie is about him, like, going back and making amends with all these people, you know, so that he can be a more appreciative person and, you know, then he can reconcile things going on in the present sort of thing. So that's basically the movie in a nutshell. It was just so weird because in these flashback segments, they go on for so long that it's it really is like watching a whole different movie. And you're, you're like... You just forget about the other stuff that's going on or that went on because you're so... It's like completely different stories, you know? Like, whenever it goes into the flashback thing, and they're like, they're, they gotta be like over half hour segments, you know? And things going on that long without cutting back to the other story, it just, you forget about what's going on. Uh, the other stuff pops up, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember this was happening. But, you know. Ah. Uh, I didn't really like this one. You know, I mean, there's worse ones that I've seen. Movies from India. But this one is just kind of mediocre. And, you know, with the bad special effects and the... Some of the stories weren't as interesting as other stories and that sort of thing. I don't know. Just wasn't as interesting to me. But, anyway. All that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop ourselves. So, those are my first thoughts and opinions. I'm throwing them up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But for what it's worth, you know? I thought the movie was just kind of mediocre. But you might like it. Who knows? So, yeah.